in essence, this is a space station on Earth. Located at a depth of 60 feet, Aquarius is a controlled environment operated by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, where aquanauts live for days at a time studying the fragile coral reef. Reefs are some of the oldest and most diverse ecosystems on the planet. But today, human activities threaten coral reefs worldwide. Working down here, scientists can study the reefs in ways not possible from the surface, looking for solutions to the reef crisis. Former aquanaut and National Geographic explorer and resident Sylvia Earle completed two missions in Aquarius. One of the great things about the Aquarius underwater laboratory, America's space station under the sea, <laughs> is that it has been on that location for 15 years, gathering insights about the ocean with really bright minds who have come from all over the world giving their perspectives on that place. Today, Sylvia is accompanying me on a return visit to Aquarius. To meet the aquanauts, who are here on a nine-day science and education mission. What allows this kind of sustained human presence is a technique called saturation diving. A dive from the surface can only last about an hour, but the aquanauts can dive up to nine hours a day. Because the pressure inside Aquarius is regulated to match the pressure outside, the divers can come and go as they please. The prolonged period underwater allows marine researchers to conduct long-term experiments not possible otherwise, such as using this mass spectrometer set up to analyze how sponges can change the composition of the water. As we approach the habitat, the aquanauts give us a taste of life inside tantalizing us with peanuts. Inside the habitat, the quarters can be a bit cramped, like on the submarine. The workroom doubles as a kitchen, and the sleeping quarters are nothing more than six bunk beds. On this mission, the kitchen table doubles as a broadcast studio. Each day, Dr. Chris Martin and his colleagues have been broadcasting their underwater research to classrooms. Starting with grades three through six, all the way up through a university level. We're doing live broadcasts from Aquarius every day at noontime. They're seeing uh, our divers out on the hard hat helmets. They're uh, actually able to talk with them because of the marvelous technology that we have here at the Aquarius Habitat through the NOAA Marine Sanctuary Program. Students watch in real time how the sponges move water through their bodies, how they filter out and add chemicals to the water. We did some experiments in which we looked at the speed at which sponges pump water. One of those big barrel sponges out there is capable of pumping an Olympic-sized swimming pool per day. Whoa. They pump that much water, we've just learned that. The students also get to see firsthand how the scientists go about collecting that information. We're connected to the ocean, and the ocean is connected to us. It's understanding that, really understanding it, that is now possible with the technologies that are coming along that we couldn't do 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Living underwater may sound like a science fiction story set in the future, but for these aquanauts, the future is now, and Aquarius is a life-transforming event. Well, I found myself going underwater and unable to come back and just keep it all to myself. I have to tell people, it's wonderful out there, and it's important that what happens to the ocean really affects all of us. With every drop of water we drink, every breath of air we take, we're connected to the ocean. It doesn't matter where we are. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, Log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.